Hey everyone, thank you for watching another one of my Halloween candle reviews. As you can see, today I'll be reviewing Yankee Candles Velvet Cream Pumpkin, which I managed to get my hands on in an outlet when I was visiting Orlando. I'll start off with the fact it's, it's the large 22 ounce jar. It's got the single wick, which is in paraffin wax, roughly 150 hour burn time. There's quite a few oils sitting on top there. I'm not sure if you can see because it's quite a light white color. Um, and I haven't trimmed that wick since I last burnt it. So you can see it's not really mushrooming, but it is getting a bit of a funny shape to it. And it's produced a little bit of soot, even though I've used an aluminum lid with it, but not much. It's pulled evenly. There's there's no residue around the side. Um, I personally bought this because I've never seen it before. I didn't like the label. I don't like that style when it's got a full picture on the front. I like the new, more modern ones. But I've done a little bit of research on it and I found out you can also get Velvet Black Pumpkin and Velvet Sugar Pumpkin. The Velvet Sugar Pumpkin is orange and obviously the black one is in a black wax colour. It seems quite hard to get hold of. Um, I see that you can get it on the US Amazon for $30, which is quite a lot. Um, and I think if you want to try this in the UK, it's going to be a factor of either having to find it in US outlets yourself or having a look around on eBay or secondhand sites. Um, and I also couldn't find a proper scent description for this, so I'm going to have to purely go off of what I could smell on a cold sniff and what I could smell when burning. So on a cold sniff, I really got through a sort of creamy vanilla sort of smell, even as far as to say maybe a buttercream sort of smell. It seems like there's a, a hint of spice in there somewhere. I'm not sure if it's enough to say cinnamony sort of spice, but there's definitely a hint of spice in there. So that's what I sort of got on a cold sniff. As you can see, I'm nearly halfway through burning the candle, um, and it's it's been a nice candle to burn. It is it's nice. It's not overpowering, but for me, it's not been strong enough. I do really like my strong candles. I would definitely still say that if you come across this, to grab it and give it a go because it does have, when burning, a really sort of creamy, sort of buttercream smell. It's sort of reminds me of a, like a vanilla cupcake sort of smell. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm going to give it a throw rating of 7 out of 10, so I'm still I'm still not rating it very highly because it, it isn't strong, but you can really, when you walk past it, get that nice creamy sort of smell. It does smell along the lines of something being baked, and when burning, I didn't really get a spice sort of smell coming through. That was just more on the cold sniff, but I would definitely say if you can get your hands on this for a good price, I would recommend it. I wouldn't spend $30 on it, I, I wouldn't spend that much. I think I spent about $15 on it, which for me, I'm happy with the smell it's giving off for that price. It's not overly strong, but if if you like the sort of vanilla cupcake baking sort of scent, I would say give it a go. It is just very creamy, um, buttercreamy vanilla sort of smell, and I was, I was liking it. I am going to keep burning it. Um, I might just move it into a slightly smaller room so I can enjoy that creamy sort of smell a bit more. Um, if you have tried this candle or you've tried the Velvet Black Pumpkin or Velvet Sugar Pumpkin, I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on them and what they smelt like because I probably won't be able to get my hands on them now I'm back in the UK. Um, the outlet did have the Velvet Sugar Pumpkin. I probably should have grabbed one, but I could only bring so much back with me. But if you have tried all three or the other two scents that I haven't got, please let me know down below what you thought of them. Um, and I'll be glad to hear your thoughts. But thank you for watching and I'll get a new review out soon.